Hello, this is Don Downey with Forest Metrics Pro. This video is going to explain how to review your data and analyze your stands and uh, ultimately report from the iPad. Go to your stands page where if you look, there's a plot list for your stand where you can look at each stand individually. You can flip through them. You can see that they're done over here. Or if I go back, I can go to the plot list for the whole tract, and then I can sort all of my plots either by stand number or by plot number. And I can scroll down and again, see where everything lives, which stand they're in. I can move things around. I can move plots from one stand to another by touching this button here, move plot 48 into stand two, for instance. Now 48 is in stand two. And generally just review everything. I can go home now and I'm back to my analyze stand and I'm going to go to the first stand and touch analyze. It's going to give me a little warning if there are a whole bunch of trees, um, you know, we're talking when you get into the hundreds or thousands of trees, it might take a couple minutes to process, but the screen is going to flash a couple times as it's going through all the math. And ultimately we're going to see a page. It's going to return to that page. And we have now all of these quick views at the bottom. Now these are not your reports. These are just something you can take a look at um, to, to see your data. This is a stand summary um, showing my uh, uh, species composition, my trees per acre and so forth. And my volumes, my sum of volumes in the different units that I may have used. I could look at that per acre or per total stand total. And it's telling me my sampling error is 24.1%. And at the rate that I'm going, I'd have to get 20 more plots if I'm going to get to my goal, which I believe I had indicated at 15% in these settings. So um, I'm going to flip through each of these stands individually. And this is also where you could change your stand description. Um, you can change your stand acreage. When you do so, you'll have to rerun the analysis to, uh, to repopulate that entire stand total. Um, and those are things that'll show up on the reports, including something like the description. So stand two is complete. And I'm just going to keep on going through. I have seven stands here and they all need to be analyzed before I can process the reports. So I'm just going to keep going with these. So I have finished processing all of my uh, stands. You'll also see some other graphs and charts at the bottom. Again, this is just uh, uh, kind of your, your on the fly BS detection, if you will. For instance, here you can scroll down through all of your plot level data. I can look at plot 28, the individual trees and volumes calculated per acre on each individual plot. So a lot of ways to review your data. So now that all my stands have been analyzed, I can go back home and go to my report page. Now I'm seeing a whole bunch of different reports that are available. And uh, first thing you want to do, though, is go down to your report settings in the lower left. And this is where you have control over, over all the reports. So, for instance, um, you know, you can say, well, I want a, a, a stand level total. So I'm going to select total here and have it sorted by stand. I could say track level reports and I want to see the track level total or the track level acre. Now a lot of the reports are going to be giving you both at once but you'll see how some of them you might only see one or the other. Products. You can determine which products you want to show up in your report. So for instance on this project I was also recording growing stock and uh, legacy material but those I might not necessarily want to report I'm just doing that for information but they might not be appropriate to add those products to certain reports because they're not actually really products um, you could also do things such as if you would use something like uh, your custom data options like tree data options one two three four I had used one and if I want my trees uh, to be sorted by that metric <clears throat> I can turn that on and I can say yes I, I want to show um, uh, this metric and I want it uh, to, to, to include these values. I used acceptable growing stock and unacceptable growing stock. Now again, I also used dead. Now that's not something I would want included in my basal area and my volumes and whatnot. Um, but if I was going to do a, a report where I wanted to see, you know, snags per acre or something like that, I could show these reports with just the dead trees. 
So I'm just gonna, uh, I'll leave those on. I'll make this as conventional as possible. And I'm gonna say, I wanna see most of these things for stand level totals. So I've set up my report settings. Um, stand summary, this is kind of your, your, your nutshell, your highest level. Um, this is going to show one stand per page. Now it'll look a bit different when it's when it's printed out, uh, but we're seeing stand one with a statistical analysis of our sampling error, of our volumes and our basal area, species composition with basal area, trees per acre, average diameter, average height, and then this one shows both volume per acre by species and total stand volume. And for all of these reports, you can touch these buttons, which in fact are all three are bringing you to the same function right now, which is the default is to print. So if you had a uh, wireless printer hooked up, I could actually print this directly from the device. But what I can do is from this dialog, I can touch PDF here and I can name this file. I could just say uh, stand summary and say continue. And then I'll have the option to export this PDF in a whole slew of ways. I could uh, I could simply text it to somebody. I could uh, email it to somebody. I could save it to our Dropbox account. Um, from here, I can print it. Um, I could also just open it up in Adobe Acrobat. So I'm going to do that just for the sake of illustration. So I'm opening up Acrobat. And that was a different report that I had produced. Here we go. Um, Forest Metrics Pro stand summary. And this is what this report looks like. Um, it's one page per stand. It will show your job info at the top. It will show your company info at the bottom. Everything formatted eight and a half by 11 and ready to print. And again, one page for each stand. I'm going to go back to my report engine here. So I'm back on FileMaker and I can hit this back button and I'm not going to go through all of these reports in this particular video. This is just to illustrate the workflow. Um, this is basal area report, and this is going to show basal area. Um, and I'm not showing it by acceptable and unacceptable. This is showing for each stand. Again, it's going to be printed one stand per page with bar graph of basal area in square feet. And then by diameter class, a more detailed breakdown down here. And that's it for report production. Now, a lot of these reports, they're going to give you a heads up here. Um, mostly they will define if the report is subject to any of those options that we discussed in the report settings, it'll tell you here. So the report that I just pressed, it will be impacted by the four primary options. And I can say create report and it's going to go and summarize all that data. And this is just a standard volume report. Um, where I did want to separate it by acceptable and unacceptable growing stock, and I'm showing it for total stand numbers. So my stand total is 473 cords of pulp and 224,000 board feet of saw timber with unacceptable and acceptable uh, uh, species.